Welcome back to the second touch designer project with Arjuna. And in this one, we're going to create another type of output the servo motor, which is also a very easy way to play with Arduino and touch designer. And in this exercise, we assume that you have already installed the Fermata into your Arduino board. So the one I'm also using the window. And you use the Arduino software to upload your, your Fermata, standard Fermata library over here. And in order to play with the servo motor, you have the three pins. So the first one is the red one, you see, is the 5 volt side, inside the 5 volt. And the other will be the ground pin that you insert it into the ground pin of your Arduino. Yes. And the last one will be the signal pin that you insert into any of the pin that come with the power that is the and I use the pin and the mouse over here. So this is the, the connection that I use with the Arduino port. And the second thing that you're going to set up with your touch designer. And as you saw, we create the project folder within my test server. So, okay, then. And I'm not going to use any external media. And I tidy up this one and find the Fermata library from the pilot browser under the tools and then drag it over here. So, what we are going to do with this one is I try to make use of the Video. There is the video device in and do something like the motion detection and then convert the horizontal movement in front of the camera to, to drive the movement of the shuffle motor. So you can have something like that when you move toward the left hand side and this one will turn to the side and when you move in the opposite direction. It will always follow you, and then this is the kind of project. So the first step will set up the formatter and using the correct part of the USB model. And then we will make it active. And then after that, we can kill the and to check with all the status. What we would like to do is to change the pin mode of number 9, the one we are using. Yes. Um, this may happen a few times that when you will like click on the the options that it may have referred to the correct pin alignment in any case. In the pin mode of number 9, we choose server. And you will hear some sort of um, server mode and movement. And then to make sure the pin number 9 is connected, then we go to the so the default one will be like zero. So this is the, the server motor. And then the next step is I'm trying to drag this standard. And we will see the movement. And because of the chip motor we are using, so we can wear it. From the slider supposedly to be zero to one. 
but when we set close to seven or open six seven times seven but we go to only to go to the maximum of your movement. So there's a same thing that you can also cater for the uh, design. So this is the emotion that we have. Okay. So this is the hardware part. So the next part we're going to do will be the software. We use some of the skill that we have done many weeks ago that I choose on the radio device screen and then flip it horizontally. Store it in a cache that is up temporary storage. And also, reduce the number of the cache size in order not to waste the storage. And then, using the cache select, drag it over here. And to pick up an index more than zero, like minus four. There will be four frames before we make the comparison between two of them by using difference. So this is the difference in it between the two frames. Um, we can also use monochrome, but we are not using the color information. Is the monochrome, and even we can use fashion the pure black and white, like this. And as we mentioned before, we can alter the threshold value such that we can make more or less white area. So the white area actually. It's where the movement is. We have done before by using block track. Which gives you information like this. So the square actually is located where the major motion is. And in order to obtain the information, we make use of an info chop, which is here. And then we can just drag it to the operator. And it will give you information about your motion with the block 0 and block 1. Because we are using the education lines, we only have two blocks for the tracking. So we'll just make use of the box here and use only the horizontal value that is the box here calling U. Okay, and we do a select. And then just track with the IO the seal calling U. And we can also rename it to X. So this is the X value, which then you move corresponding to your horizontal position. And you might also notice that it will disappear when there's no motion. So in order to maintain the position, we have done by using feedback. Connect it to the feedback. And then this value will maintain, even though you just sit there without any movement. And in order to play safe, there's one initial value that we can use. So we can use something like constant to give an initial value x. So we need to rename it at x and give it an initial value of 0.5. So open five that means center the screen. So that means when you have no movement when you switch on the computer, open it this movement. So the, the position is only in the center of the screen. Okay.
So one, we have this value. We can fine tune by doing a filter to make it a little smooth. It's something that doesn't play the heat of the holes. And this value will now be ready for you to put it into the sort of motor. And we have also demonstrated that the range of the slider that we control the sort of motor is a little bit limited rather than extending to the zero to one which is something more or less like between zero and over and five. So we can enhance this by changing the range. Like the original one is four to one. And the true range can be something like four zero to four point five that give it or uh, restricting the the output value. So now if you want to, you can also connect it to a node chop with a little more flexibility. And then you can go back to your formatter. That is the value of your performance. So instead of using our hand to move the slider, we can always use this number return from the motion tracking and turn on the real app and drag it over here and export to the top. So once you have this one, you can perform something like this. So this is your, your motor. So when you are moving around, into a different direction so you may end up by this thing coming to your side. So this is the, the thing that we can run with by connecting the motion of your side. That is the movement in front of the camera. And if you want to have a better feedback you can always pass something like that. We saw feedback from the camera so that we have done before in the past. So we can have a very quick review by choosing a rectangle and make it the size of our screen with the question resolution. And then the this rectangle we can make it really narrow and long. It's something like this. And if you want to, you can change the color. So we can do another transform to change the, the translate for this one later. And when we go back to um, Let's step one we have a smaller value. So we can use this one over here and then do another mess to convert the number. So if you remember the value for your motion left to from the right to the left is zero to one. So the position of that vertical line will be minus eight point five positive 0.5 so we can use this range of conversion minus 0.5 to positive 0.5 and then send it to a node chart and then we can drag it to the translate So now when we move around, so we have something like this. And of course you can combine it with your video image by using 
Come with it. And then finally same to the output. Turn the operating mode over or under, depending on the sequence. So that will be your escape. So that will have more or less. We open the motion element here. And at the same time, when you move, so if you take a look at your motor, something like this, switch them off the camera. Because my hand is also moving. And here, my motor, bigger movement. And I move around here. So that movement in front of the camera will check out the movement of this particular thing which is a little bit out of system you might need to hang something with this in order to make it synchronize with your movement so this is the, the logic and also the ideas about this project is using Arduino servo motor and motion control motion detection your video camera in touch design. Okay.